coming to the second problem the coach of a cricket team buys 3 bats and 6 balls for 3900 rupees later she buys another bat and 3 more balls of the same kind for 1300 rupees represent this situation algebraically and geometrically so let us assume that the cost of each bat is equal to x rupees and the cost of each ball is equal to y rupees now according to the given condition the cost of 3 bats and 6 balls is 3900 rupees so the cost of 3 bats can be written as 3 multiplied by x and the cost of 6 balls can be written as 6 multiplied by y the total cost is 3900 rupees now we can take 3 as a common so 3 times of x plus 2y is equal to 3 times of 1300 so 3 gets cancelled on both the sides we'll be getting x plus 2y is equal to 1300 so i name this as equation number 1 now using the second condition we can write the cost of one bat is nothing but x rupees and the cost of three balls is nothing but 3 multiplied by y this is equal to the total cost which is 1300 so this can be written as x plus 3y is equal to 1300 the equation once and equation two represent the given situation algebraically this is nothing but algebraic representation in order to represent these two equations graphically let us find two solutions for each of these equations so the first equation is x plus 3y is equal to 1300 so if x is equal to 400 that implies 400 plus 3y is equal to 1300 we get 3y is equal to 1300 minus 400 which is nothing but 900 so 3y is equal to 900 so we get y is equal to 900 divided by 3 which is nothing but 300 so if x is equal to 400 the value of y would be 300 now let us take x is equal to 1000 that implies 1000 plus 3y is equal to 1300 so we can write this as 3y is equal to 1300 minus 1000 which is nothing but 300 that implies 3y is equal to 300 so y can be written as 300 divided by 3 which is 100 so if x is equal to 1000 the value of y is 100 so let us tabulate these values in order to find out the graphical representation so let us write down x here and y here so if x is equal to 400 we got the value of y as 300 and if x is equal to 1000 we got the value of y as 100 now let us use the second equation which is x plus 2y is equal to 1300 this is equation number 2 so let us substitute x is equal to 0 so if x is equal to 0 the second equation becomes 0 plus 2y is equal to 1300 that implies 2y is equal to 1300 so we get y is equal to 1300 divided by 2 which is 
so if x is 0 the value of y is 650 now if x is equal to 100 the equation number 2 becomes 100 plus 2y is equal to 1300 so we can write 2y is equal to 1300 minus 100 which is nothing but 1200 so 2y is equal to 1200 implies y is equal to 1200 divided by 2 which is 600 so if x is 100 the value of y is 600 now let us tabulate these values also in a tabular form so from the second equation which is x plus 2y is equal to 1300 the tabulated values are so we write x and y here so if x is equal to 0 we got the value of y as 650 and if x is equal to 100 we got the value of y as 600 so by using both these tabular forms let us plot a graph now 400 comma 300 is here 1000 comma 100 is here so let us join these points in order to get a straight line the equation of that straight line is x plus 3y is equal to 1300 now 0 comma 650 is here and 100 comma 600 is here let us join these two points in order to obtain the straight line of the equation x plus 2y is equal to 1300 now after joining the points we get the straight line x plus 2y is equal to 1300 and x plus 3y is equal to 1300 here so both these straight lines meet the, at the point 1300 0 so this is the graphical representation of the equations x plus 3y is equal to 1300 and x plus 2y is equal to 1300